the UFC 260 card is Sean O'Malley. Now O'Malley. he's coming off. Uh, he's coming after a, uh, a loss to Marlon uh, uh, Chido Vera. Yeah. Um, that that was after you know, <laughs> kind of like the rise of the calf kicks becoming more and more mm-hmm. prevalent, and uh, obviously. Sean O'Malley's had a lot of issues. He always wear anchor wraps, but he keeps kicks a lot. But he he has issues with with his with his foot. He has issues with. Um, Ooh, he's broken it twice now. Yeah, but he's also had issues um, uh, with drop foot and things like that. And mm-hmm. the calf kicks did not help. Drop yeah. foot rolled his ankle, went down, and he it got, it got. I believe the fight got called off a little bit too early. However, well, um, he was on the ground. I mean, he was, was he was on the ground. However. He was taking a few shots, but yeah. it was simply called off because of the injury to his foot, not so much the damage that Vera had put forward. Now, he's fighting uh, Thomas Almeida, very good kickboxer. However, in the UFC, hasn't gone his way. Three-fight losing skid. I un- understand Almeida is a very good kickboxer, and I think this is a very fan-friendly matchup. Sean O'Malley, good, very good kickboxer. Ken is a... I believe he's a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Thomas Almeida, very good kickboxer as well. It sets up stylistically for a very fan-friendly matchup and most likely a KO, right? Because they're both very explosive uh, bantamweights. I think this is the UFC trying to slowly build Sean O'Malley up a little bit quick, a little bit slower because they gave him Chido Vera. Chido Vera is currently number 15 in the rankings, but perhaps too big a jump for him, too big a jump. He mm-hmm. needed to have a little bit. Of, the, the only issue with Sean O'Malley was he was having injuries and he had to have a bit of time off the UFC and then he rushed it afterwards, yeah. thinking he had to make up for that last time, whereas he should have just taken his time slowly moving up. I think he's a very good kickboxer. I think he's grappling ability. We haven't seen that much ability from him. But we know he's very he's got proficiency on the ground in terms of jiu-jitsu, um, being a purple belt of Brazilian jiu-jitsu as well. Mm-hmm. And it's interesting to see that he's been given Thomas Almeida now. If yeah. That unfortunately, if Thomas Almeida does lose this, most likely, just like Tyron Woodley, t- three-fight losing skid, if he does lose this fight, he will most likely get uh, knocked out of the UFC since he's not he's not a ranked fighter yeah, either. He, Thomas Almeida hasn't won since if November 20th, 2016 against Albert Morales. That is a long period. That is a long time. time. He's lost to Jimmy Rivera, Jimmy Rivera, Rob Font, Rob Font, and Jonathan Martinez. And also he's lost. No, no, Rob Font, that's a good person to lose to. And also Cody Garbrandt. Rob Rob Font and lost to did you lose to Cody Garbrandt as well? He lost to Cody Garbrandt, but that was in May of two thousand sixteen. So May of two thousand sixteen. Yeah, so those like you got Rob Font. Did you fight Rob Font twice? He fought Rob Font. Once, once. So, so um, he's fought Rob Font. And he's lost. Uh, he's uh, he lost to uh, uh, Cody Garbrandt as well. Now, interesting that Rob Font and Cody Garbrandt are actually suited to fight each other. We'll talk about that on a different podcast. Yeah. But that's interesting as well. That because Rob Font is number two in the bantam rankings, Cody Garbrandt being ex bantamweight champion, those are not bad people to lose to, right? But he hasn't won since 2016, which makes you. I can understand that there's a lot riding on this fight and the pressure of losing of losing this fight is quite a lot. If he loses this fight, yeah. Then and if he loses this fight, he's out of the out of the UFC, right? If you haven't won in 5 years, that's a that's got to take a toll on your mentality. Yeah. I know he's a very good kickboxer, but that's got to affect your strategy in this yeah. fight. It, it's it's an interesting it's an interesting matchup for sure because I wouldn't have thought Sean O'Malley would be given this type of opponent. I think he would still have been given someone on a one-fight win streak or something like that. Helps him build up. For him to fight Thomas Almeida, who's on a three-fight losing skid, it's almost like they're suited this matchup so that Sean O'Malley can rise up and build himself back up. Mm. It's an interesting matchup for sure. What do you think? Well... I want Sean O'Malley to sort of rise back up, but the game at the same time you get someone who's probably pretty much might be fighting for his job. And uh, you know, everyone had we had this thing where everyone was talking about Sean O'Malley because he was self proclaimed was it, he was proclaimed the darling of Dana White's contender series. Great knockouts. The fans loved him because of his personality. You know, Joe Rogan loved him and he loved Joe Rogan. <laughs> And, you know, he's had some 
kick ass knockout. See shame that um Eddie Wineland knockout definitely put him on the map. But when he lost to Marlon Vera, people were just counting him out. People kind of just forgot about him afterwards. He did meme himself a little bit by he, saying he um undefeated. That's right. He yeah. So the, 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 they he mentally he believes he's undefeated and all that. So I get what he means. I get what he means. He yeah. wasn't beaten. Um, he wasn't beaten by damage. He wasn't KO'd. He wasn't submitted out of skill ability. Yeah. He was simply well, technically he was beaten by skill ability, but he was calf kicked really well. Yeah. On his peroneal nerve, caused him to have drop foot. He already has numerous issues with his ankles, right? He's fallen. He's fallen down. He's he's been injured during a fight and he's lost, right? Yeah. But that injury was not caused by Sean O'Malley. It was caused by Marlon Cheeto Vera's brilliant calf kicks. Yeah. Cheeto played the game. He did really well. He did he did win against Sean O'Malley. But I understand that Sean O'Malley says, "Look." I think I'm better than Cheeto Vera. He won on that night by... I think he thinks that this is just the one out of 10 times yeah. that he lost to, whereas the nine out of time times, he would have beat Cheeto yeah. Vera. I do understand where he's coming from. And uh, not even that, but you also put up a photo of him with some chick's ass in the photo, and he goes, und- humbled. Yeah. He's him just smoking a doobie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, uh, hopefully he comes back. Hopefully he gets some of his hype back. I just don't expect it to come easy. I, I, I believe Sean O'Malley will win by decision or a knockout, but I don't, um, I just don't say easy. But one thing that Sean O'Malley said he's worked on a lot is his ground game mm. because he's been competing in jiu-jitsu competitions. Yes, he has. So he's been staying active even though he was yeah. injured and wasn't able so to compete. Obviously, he's trying to expand his skill set. I think, I think... He also got a lot of streamers on Twitch. Yes, <laughs> yeah, de- yeah, definitely. I think Sean is someone that also takes energy from the crowd. And it'll yeah. be interesting to see that there's no crowd there. Yeah. I think Sean will win by KO. I yeah. think Thomas Almeida, there's a lot riding on this. He's lost to Jimmy Rivera, Rob Font, and Cody Garbrandt. And those are some really tough people mm-hmm. to beat, right? And mm-hmm. he's unfortunately, he's lost to them, right? Does not take away from Almeida's very good kickboxing ability. But I think if you're fighting for your job, right, it can either make two things happen. Either one, you're really timid and you play it really safe and you're scared to get in a fist fight because if you get knocked out, you're done. Or it makes you really overzealous, mm-hmm. really over aggressive to knock them out and to beat them handily so that there's they don't have to worry about the judges screwing you over over the decision, then you get kicked out of the UFC. But either way, that kind of pressure does not does not sit well with me. I think if you're really timid, that's something that Sh- Sean O'Malley can can pressure you with. And then if you're really overzealous, you can walk into shots. Yeah. Because we know Sean O'Malley's got 